What's up guys? Marlon back here with another discussion video. And I know a lot of people is dragging Death Stranding through the mud right now. So within less than 24 hours of this game coming out, Death Stranding has been getting review bombed left and right. Now, looking at Metacritic, which I do believe there should be a system in place for Metacritic when it comes to like reviews and such, because I don't think a lot of these people actually played the game, but they're actually reviewing the game and giving the game a zero, giving the game a one, giving you know the game really low scores and everything like that but there's really no substance to the review you can tell when somebody plays a game from when they don't and a lot of the bigger upper echelon um, websites like IGN and Kotaku and all them websites most of the time they get paid under the table you know and a lot of time they don't beat the game at all and so Kojima responds to the whole negativity, the mixed reviews and everything like that, that Death Stranding has been getting. And he was like, man, this is no surprise. This is really no surprise because of the unique design of the game. And Death Stranding is not for everybody. I mean, it's a different kind of game. You know what I mean? I've never seen a game like Death Stranding before. Now, the only thing that I was saying before the game came out was, uh, I don't really know. It looks boring to me. I never said that, okay, I don't want to play it or anything like that. I was just like, man, this looks boring. But judging, judging by what I've seen and how the game looks, I mean, it looks like something that I will sit down and play, you know, but it looks boring to me. And Kojima himself said that you have to get through like 50% of the game for it to start making sense and start being fun and everything like that but what i don't understand for the life of me on metacritic right now they are sabotaging Death stranded i mean when it comes to the user score it's sitting at 6.2 right now so it's like literally more negative reviews than there are positive reviews at this point and it's getting ridiculous man this is just the industry now this is the new age of the gaming industry when it comes when it comes to reviewing stuff when it comes to giving your honest opinion about stuff and right now the industry is in shambles because you know on Nintendo side you know their stuff is getting leaked out now they're not sending out review copies early anymore they're sending out review copies on the same day of release which is going to quote unquote I would say kind of hurt the consumer a little bit because they won't get that review day one to make their purchase because a lot of people make their purchases off of reviews but that stranding oh my god a 6.2 mediocre user score okay and it's based off of a 83 on metacritic metacritic right now i believe it's still sitting at 83 a lot of people are like oh it's not going to get game of the year because it's sitting at you know 83 on metacritic it doesn't matter i mean it doesn't matter how high the, the the metacritic score is if the game is good it's good if the game is your cup of tea then it's your cup of tea but don't sit here and slaughter a game when you haven't played it because i'm looking at some of these scores man and i'm just shaking my head i'm just like really like this sounds like the person did not play the game at all like they're just saying oh uh you know death stranding is a piece of garbage this game is a waste of time you know the story doesn't make sense but you're not going in depth you're just scratching the surface so i feel like a lot of people are just riding the wave as far as you know the reviews and everything goes they're just riding the wave like everybody's trashing the game everybody's talking about this game and saying that it's horrible um it's kojima's worst project yet yes it's something different and different doesn't mean that it's for everyone but i love different i love when stuff is different from all the rest of stuff that we've been playing i mean people just want the same plain jane kind of experience and you know death stranding is giving us something fresh and i know a lot of people are going to disagree and i know a lot of people are going to agree with me death stranding is something different yes to me the game looks boring but to other people they might love it it might be like marlon are you crazy this game looks dope but granted i'm going to pick this up and i'm going to play it and i'm probably going to enjoy it it's just something different. And then, you know, Kojima, 
when he puts out his games and everything it's always a mind challenge with his game and so all the trailers ever since Death Stranding first got revealed and everything didn't make sense to a lot of people leading up to release still don't make any sense right but the game is called Death Stranded so yeah of course you're stranded and your job is to connect all the worlds together to make everything make sense the baby thing for me still don't even make sense you know what I mean there's a lot of things that doesn't make sense and I love games that challenge your mind I love games that you know really put you on the edge of your seats and so I'm excited I'm excited about this game yes it's different it still have that Metal Gear kind of DNA in there and everything like that this game is already having memes and everything like that with the monster energy drink you know stuff in there as well so Kojima is just like, man, at this point, he don't even freaking care. He just he responds. He's just like, hey, man, look, I knew this was going to happen. I knew that this game is going to get a mediocre um, review score. I knew people was going to have mixed things to say. And right now on Metacritic, it's 6.7 on the user score. Negative reviews are at 1,300 right now, 1,300 plus. And on the user score... As far as positivity, they just updated it. So now the positivity is actually out doing the negativity. So, guys, this is ridiculous, man. Play the game. Play the game before you trash it in your review. Most of these people, a bunch of zeros. I wish I could show you guys this, but this is really bad. I'm looking at it right now, a bunch of zeros. The game is boring. Walking simulator. There's nothing interesting about it. The end. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me right now? You didn't play the game. That does not sound like somebody that played the game. So Metacritic needs to have a better system in place for people who are actually putting up their user score up there. This is ridiculous. A one, a zero, a three, a zero. Like really? Baby Simulator 2K19. Don't waste your money. <laughs> Oh my god, this is what the industry has come down to, guys. Foolishness. 100% pile of garbage. Overrated. This review contains spoilers. Click to expand the view. Okay, this person have like a three, four paragraph. Now, that actually makes sense to me. These one sentences, that's not a review. Okay? That's not a review. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But you know what? It doesn't matter. What matters is you guys enjoy the game. You guys go out there, spend your hard earned dollar. It doesn't matter what IGN says. It doesn't matter what Kotaku says. It doesn't matter what Giant Bomb or any other big major website says. You guys got to make that decision for yourself. Whether you want to spend $60, whether you want to go the Red Box, whether you want to go the Gamefly and decide for yourself ultimately. That's why on this channel, I live stream the games so that you guys can make the final curtain call on it if it's actually worth it or not because if it's not actually worth it to you then you're not gonna waste your money I can sit here and say oh my god you know Death Stranding is unicorn and rainbow and it's beautiful and it's elegant and the gameplay is awesome and the story makes sense but to you guys you're like man Marlon I'm sorry this is a pile of garbage I'm not I'm not gonna waste my time with this game you know, and that's okay. But don't sit here and give the game, trash the game, and give the game a low score when you haven't played the game and you're just riding the the the, the train, the, the the hype train of everybody else saying that Death Stranding is trash, saying that it's a baby simulator, a P simulator, a UPS package simulator. That's what everybody's been saying. Don't follow the train, man. Don't follow the trend, man. You make up your own mind. That's all I'm saying. This is something different. I'm not defending Kojima. I'm just speaking logical. I'm being neutral with you guys. And this is ridiculous. Like, this needs to stop. But this is the sad part about the gaming industry right now. Everybody wants to ride a trend. Nobody wants to sit down and take the time to beat the game, to understand what the game is really, really all about. It's not for everybody. So if you don't like it, don't pick it up. That's all I got to say, guys. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. This madness got to stop. Seriously. We out of here.